Daniel Medvedev versus Karin Hashinov is the first semi-final for the men's Miami Open for 2023. And both guys have been impressive to get to this stage. Hashinov started the tournament off as the number 14 seed, and we're going to buy in the first round. In the second round, he take on Echeverry, the Argentinian. And after dropping the second set, we have to fight back to win 6-1, 3-6, 6-3. In the third round, he take on the Hechka, the informed Czech player who had beaten some big names in 2023. But Hashinov found no problem with him, getting through in straight sets 6-2, 6-4. In the fourth round, he take on the second seed, Tsitsipas, who had been battling a shoulder injury for the past couple of weeks. But this didn't bother Hashinov getting his first win over Sidzi Pass in straight sets, 7-6, 6-4, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Hashinov would take on the number 25 seed Serendolo, who had backed up his performance from last year's Miami Open. And unfortunately for Serendolo, Hashinov was too good, getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-2, to advance to the semifinals. Medvedev started the tournament off as the number four seed, and we get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Bayana. This was no problem for Medvedev, winning in straight sets, 6-1, 6-2. In the third round, he was supposed to play Mulch Unfortunately, Molchan pulled out with injury, allowing Medvedev to get the easy win with a walkover. In the fourth round, Medvedev would take on Hellas, who had saved match points against Dimonor a couple of rounds ago. But this was no problem for Medvedev, getting through in straight sets, 6-4, 6-2, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Medvedev would take on the qualifier Eubanks, who was having a dream run at this event. And after a bit of a rain delay and a very close second set, Medvedev would eventually get through in straights, 6-3, 7-5, to advance to the semifinals. This two played four times before, with Medvedev leading the head-to-head 3-1, including a win in Adelaide at the start of the year. A straight sets win there. Hashinov hasn't beaten Medvedev in over five years. And since that time, Medvedev, of course, has become world number one and a Grand Slam champion. The keys to the match, thanks to Tennis Insights, based on shot quality, Medvedev leads the serving shot quality with an 8.0 to Hashinov 7.9. He also leads the return shot quality 7.8 to Hashinov 7. So the serving might be close, but the returning of Medvedev is going to trouble Hashinov a lot more. Also on the ground strokes, when the rally gets started, Medvedev's forehand shot quality quality over the last 52 weeks has been at an 8.2, higher than the 7.7 .7 of Hashinov. And the backhand quality the same, Medvedev winning that as well, 7.8 to the 7.5 of Hashinov. So in all the categories, according to Tennis Insights, Medvedev has the win, but still going to give Hashinov a chance because this week he's been playing incredible. Shot quality is a part of a range of new insights from the team at Tennis Insights. It is calculated in real time and analyzes each shot's speed, spin, depth, width, and impact on the opponent. The number of the player cards are actually the 52-week rolling averages. Go check them out on Twitter, link down below. This is a very fun matchup. Two very good friends on and off the tour, but I'm going to go with Medvedev in this one. I think it's hard to say Medvedev can't win this one after what happened in Adelaide. Uh, I mean, Hashinov's had a great run. Maybe he can do something special, but I'm going to go with Medi in this one in a close straight set to make the final. But let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think's going to win?